As climate change grips the world, intense storms and heavy rainfall impact our communities. This can wreak havoc on our roads, bridges, and even our backyards. As WCCO's Caroline Cummings reports, severe weather is ushering in new thinking in cities about building infrastructure that's made to last. As the sun sets over Lake Superior, a new dawn for Duluth Lake Walk that clings to its coast. The response to this new look, this new reset, has been just phenomenal. But as Mike LeBeau, who manages construction projects for the city, remembers, it was a redo not out of want, but need. There was wind speeds of over 100 miles an hour and 20, 25 foot waves. A trio of powerful storms in late 2017 to 2018 tore up the shoreline, leaving nothing but tens of millions of dollars in damages and an opportunity to rebuild better than before. We can't be sure that we've seen the worst yet of what the lake can do, what the climate can do to us. Was this the costliest disaster Duluth's ever seen? Yeah, by far. A team of specialists helped stone. with construction. Each stone here deliberately placed like pieces of a puzzle. What is this? It's concrete. concrete and does it wall. go straight down? It goes straight down. Behind it, a concrete wall at some points 12 feet deep. This is protecting the concrete wall, which is helping to protect the trails and that stairway and everything behind it. Climate change is reshaping how cities think about building roads, bridges, and in Duluth, this lake walk. In Shoreview, there's a unique stretch of road tucked between Lake Owasso and Lake Wabasso. The water just basically lands on the pavement and it finds its way through these cracks. It's called permeable pavement. And it works like this. The city began using a similar tactic in a nearby neighborhood a decade ago as a way to boost water quality by minimizing runoff. And Public Works Director Mark Maloney says now there's an added benefit of less flooding. We had a pretty static idea of how much rain we got and how long the winters were. And uh, that's really been challenged in the last 10 to 15 years. Pavement like it only covers about 1.5% of city streets. And Maloney says it's strategically placed and endures Minnesota's brutal winters. As soon as the sun gets on here for any sustained period of time, all the stuff that, all the stuff that you see clogging the, the joints and the pores uh, melts away. Up front, it's a larger investment, he says, than typical concrete on normal roads. But in the long run, maintenance costs less. I think the world we live in now, the people that are here that are paying for everything, are expecting us to be thinking this way. 16 Minnesota cities declare a climate emergency, calling on the state and federal governments to commit resources to combating the problem. We need to do something before we reach a, a tipping point. That includes Robbinsdale, which invested $320,000 for a new stormwater system, so Crystal Lake, with no natural outlet, doesn't flood. We have to upgrade it now to take account of the fact that the dynamics have changed. Those dynamics, changing climate, impacts infrastructure you and I use every day. Those tasked with designing and repairing it will have to meet that need while Mother Nature takes its toll. We're dealing with a new reality and we have to adapt to it. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. An analysis by the National Institute of Building Sciences from a few years ago found that every dollar spent on disaster mitigation saves communities $6.